Hello? Hello. Okay. So, yeah. Uh, well, welcome to the screen, uh, to the stream. We're going to start in a bit. Wait, we should wait after uh, two people to come. I'll check if this is working. Yeah, yeah, it's working. Okay, so they're joining soon. Okay, we just let's just wait until they join. Yeah, okay, that's yeah, fine. That's fine. Hello, uh, Thomas Andrews Jr. Hello. Ah, Andrews is in. Hey, nice. Hello. Actually, I think I could just uh, show this first. Yes, yes. Yeah. It's like this size. Yeah, you go back. Yeah, you go back. back. Oh, this. Oh, this. Yeah. Hello, the last Olympian. 
you just join. We're waiting for two other people. Hello, welcome to the stream. Do you want to just start now? And uh, just while well, I'm just doing it. Yeah. Join in the conversation. So I think I could, I think we could just wait for uh Wharton and Alex to join with later on. Start the stream. <laughs> Good time frame of hour. <laughs> How long is going to be? Just have the wreck. Yeah. You want me to uh share the wreck screen? No, you can't. No, you like, can. Like, wreck map. Yeah. Yeah. So. So I have a lot of stuff that here right now that I'm going to like discuss with other people right now other people and so <laughs> the battle and I, I labeled some of the pieces but not like everything we need to like identify each each piece and stuff yeah pretty good that pretty good that yeah. Time to as well. Time to as well. So so this this piece is the one here. And the uh, and green this piece green 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 the bent the one that's bent like ninety degrees is the one over here in uh Mark Draper's model. Oh, so there's an echo in the stream. Just a moment, I'll get 
my headphones, I think. Shit, probably. Yeah, I think so. I think so. Wait, wait, Alex is here. Alex is here. But, uh, he needs to... Alex, can you, uh, connect your mic and cam... Mic? So that I could add you into the stream. Also, Pulley, you're you're the one uh, that's echoing, I think. What I think it I think it's it's your it's you your echoing, you but echoing but it could have said it's echoing my voice. Echoing my voice. Oh, okay, okay. I'll get my stuff. Alex, uh, Alex needs to kind of just my. <laughs> Yeah, so I think now I connected with my earphones. Okay, 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 okay. Is there less echoing? I hope I'm so. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I can still hear myself. I can still hear myself. Fix the echo problem later on. Oh, so that diagram, uh so one of the iceberg damages is actually out of the mud, is it? Yes. Yes. This one. This one. Well, images. Well, that one is, that here. one is here. Oh, I see. Obvious. Oh, quite Obvious. Quite from here. From here. To here. But it's like the it's like the deck is bulged or the hollows bulged out. Hollows bulged out. It's like they failed to rivet. Didn't think there was one down here. There was one down here. Makes sense yeah, points for but... but... Hmm. I've got to add this image. Deep question. Deep question. So, uh, guys, do you have any? If you have any questions, uh, you could ask so that we could discuss about it in our screen stream. Hmm.
So, the Lost Soul Engine is asking us uh, about the gym roof. What was the primary cause in about the collapse? The after collapse. The collapse. Basically, what we have said, yeah. What we I mean, I don't think it was. I think all the fact of it. Fact, area is completely open to the the current, and the current just can wash through and break all the support. And it just collapses. Now that it's sealed off, it's not going to do as much damage forward, but it will still weigh itself down. Do I have a picture of the... I don't think I do. Sydney visits for decking line and then it's all sunken in. But I do think going back to an image. Get rid of this. So we're kind of looking along this area and we have the sunken gym here. I'd think there's probably if you look at your weakness image of oh, a lot of the decking here is still connected it's like it's pulling down the hull and it's bulging out even more but the yeah. keel was completely disconnected from the hull and probably a yeah. effect of the break no uh i think probably i think it's just the the deck collapsing causing it to just the shell plating to to like bull gel. Yeah, it's strange. It's strange. I, didn't it's I didn't think it would um break it off the keel with a double bottom. This digit just double bombed here, all the tanks are here and then the entire shell plating that is on the side is just completely disconnected. It's either a progression, it's probably progressed as it's going, but I think we that was an initial slice of a few rivets probably being broken by this area considering break where's the key was kind of here yeah. where it ends where it and ends. there's a lot and more a lot like more. 15 feet of hull um still there still there oh okay alex is on the stream Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Mm. Yes. Hello. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Um, Hello. I'm sorry. Um, this, sorry. Is this, this is the first time I'm participating in this. Uh, uh, sorry. Sorry. It's a bit of confusing bit of for me confusing right now. For me right now. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I'll so be I just a listener. Uh, probably chime in probably if, you chime if, you if you can't need if you can't need force to talk about. <laughs> Garden either the prequel. Now you should just wait for words and and that'll be it. Oh, so we're doing that, okay. So she Thinking of, I kind of wanted to discuss, to discuss. on a glorious break. glorious break, or their newest break, should I say? The it's lighting not, and everything is like okay, but yeah, like, the lighting looks fine. Lighting it just, looks fine. It just, it is too bright. Yeah. too bright. But I think that's more just for display. I think they'll turn it down turn when, the time down comes. when the time comes. Yeah, I, I don't think the the 
funnels didn't follow just directly to port, but rather to either like forward or Share all the way to quick, to quick, to quick, to quick, to quick, to Sorry if I don't Sorry, pronounce I don't words pronounce very words correctly. correctly. English is just not uh, my primary language. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. All right. All right. <clears throat> so now, now that that moment is the most controversial. Yeah. Point, yeah. Where it just pulls over Britannic. <laughs> I don't like it. Britannic. No, I don't like it. It kind of goes against many of the survivors. And probably there will be more, uh, more air pockets in the around the poop day area. So probably would go vertical. Yeah, like if, if you look at the bow, it was considering it was at a very high angle. Mm -hmm. um, and then the stern is disconnected, and it says, "Oh, I don't actually want to flood like a ship. I just want to drop like a rock." doesn't this doesn't really make sense because all the because we think the engine rooms will be open at this point so water's going to flood that area putting the ship down really quickly um because then it's just going to open space and probably stop at the turbine bulkhead wherever that is bulkhead j or something not j l or i think um so It'll basically stop at that and then flood E deck, which will probably start the port list and then continue that way as it rolls over. But just, yeah, I don't understand. Actually, uh, it's not only, it's not only, uh, was it Charles Jogan that hmm. said the stern keeled over? I think it was one other, other survivor that said the stern keeled over. Or wasn't he drunk? Or wasn't he drunk? Yeah, but there was another uh, survivor. Jack Sayer was uh, mentioned in um, sort of French Um Continue. So, uh, I think... Who, who was she? They go from that strange rolling stern to where's the real time sinking? To the end of the real time, this just looks a bit more like what survivors saw. Yes, it's very bright, and yes, the register lines have come the on. Only thing the only accurate thing accurate in this simulation, simulation, the final plan. The final plan. Yeah, that uh, the funnel, fourth funnel falling is a little better than the previous one. It should yeah. it should yeah. go aft first and then to port yeah. because. Yeah. Well, if you look at what survivors mentioned, that the funnel was going falling towards them. Yeah, you can look at movie for okay. example when they broke the ship. Um, when they broke. The um, because they had a giant model, they showed um, had all the funnels and it broke in the way they wanted. Yes, so it's not completely accurate. Completely accurate but yeah. the funnels were but just completely loose and would just fail when, when it could. So if you even look at, if you even look at um, the funnels in the movie, the, the, movie, the as funnel falls aft, funnel falls aft. Mm -hmm. probably due to the whiplash, we just stand falling stem. back. Yeah. Oh, so it was uh, Eva Hart that mentioned the stern keeled over, hmm. not just joking. And also Maybe some right. other people said that there was no wake in the in like the final moments. Jack Thayer was mentioning Thayer that the mentioned decks of the stern were turning, turning, turning away, from, away him from him when, from when he was in the water, in the I remember. I remember. Yeah. Oh, so one of the developers in Titanic Honor and Glory is 
Yeah. Before we heard, like, we heard, like, 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 like the disc and just thought, oh, like, oh, we did it really wrong. But I do like the like, real time sinking sinking more. Mainly because she actually goes basically vertical, which is what Survivor said. The law of Survivor said that she was pointing up like a pencil. Mm -hmm. um, and every time I save it, she was like sticking up by about 150 feet, like um, most survivors estimated. Um, a lot of people think that's way too high. That's like the movie, and then like catch the. Where she is now is basically is sticking out about 150 feet. 150 feet just from the end of the poop to the cargo prints. More like the F masts. Yeah, so yeah. roughly around mm -hmm. as the superstructure starts the super on sea deck. So, do you want to uh, discuss about the wreck? No, yeah, just direct. Uh, yeah, uh, I have a, I have a map map of it. Just a moment. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the map. Just a moment. Yeah. So this one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've got most of the pieces there. The pieces there. She got some of the peaches. Pictures this, four, pictures three. This is what Wurton made, and this was one on the final word documentary. Yeah, well, they based their piece off where the boilers, the boilers are. And these two are from Mark Draper, and this is from Titanic Animations, and this is the descent that I drew, and uh, finally, this is the, I think the. The debris field map on in, in like 2006, 2005. I think so. I think so. Yeah. The pre so is not This is the Ballard piece. piece. Probably um, the big piece was around here. So I'll just draw an outline of it. And then the ballad piece. We might be able to uh, see a pattern going on after we mark all the shell playing and match hmm. it up with this one. I always find the most interesting for this. Send is mainly because it's more. This, more this is the oh, ballad yes. piece. Oh, yes. I think just by seeing the one of the like yeah. Is this like part of the funnel? Or like shell playing? I think it's part of the funnel. Uh, I'm not sure. Is it? I'm not sure, I'm I, not believe sure. I believe it's um, um I think most of the only funnel the identified funnel point, point is, is um, there's a flat insertion at the bottom right of that area, area. kind of so by the end of that gash. Um, that's like the only funnel the piece I know that's mainly because, that's mainly because, because um, we found the whistles there. Yeah. And I believe they said it was the number three funnel. And this would be the yeah, 90 degree part piece. Of the shell plane. Is this also part of the shell plane? I think. Uh, yes, that is. Yes, that is. Yeah. I've got it on this image. It's like a weird, weird kind of 75 degree angle bend to it. And we gotta uh, check what what exactly that part is from the 
when you look at all the debris field, you can kind of, kind of have a theme that the stone, stone was in the middle of the, middle of the double bottom, the double and where, bottom it is now. where it is now. Mm. Kind of like right kind on top of where right the 90 degree pieces. Um, and she probably, and she probably, she probably fell um, to the to the west and scattering pieces around. Yeah. So that's nine. Number nine. That's four. And that would be six. This is seven. Oh, Wharton is here. Wharton. Hello. Hello. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Oh, hi, Wharton. Oh, hi, Wharton. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. So we're just discussing about uh, the debris field. And I, along with a lot of pictures that I brought before the stream. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I figure out if there's like any show pitting there. I'm not sure what this piece is. I think we need a better look on that later on. Hold on. Um, Hold on. Um, I can check that. I can check that. I also brought your uh, this one as well, fortune. Oh brilliant. oh brilliant. That one's very yeah, that, one's very, that one's, very useful. one's very useful. Yeah. So there's another piece. And we could also compare it with this and always like check. I think this one is yeah, the also uh, for reference this would be where the forward kill was and this was where the aft kill would would have been basically so like, in the puppet. Yeah, and you could see like the outline, and it doesn't really match the the break that we see on Roy Mangot's uh, deck by deck sections uh, map. Mm -hmm. It follows um, like different rules. So this is where the coal bunker would be. Do we actually know where the coal bunker is? No, I think where? it's like scattered everywhere. It was as it was probably in the epicenter, it was probably crushed. Um, by the, both the keel and the stern as it compressed, if it broke off and burst down. Oh, sorry. And these will be part of the decking, but probably, uh, I'm not sure exactly where these pieces were part of. Um, is that object is that in the pink square the pink and up tower? No, this is the galley deck. Oh, it's the galley deck. Okay. okay. Yeah. I'll just mark this one too. Yeah, the aft tower the is the uh, yellow, uh, one. yellow one, um, um, just directly just above directly the stern. Ah, uh, yes, I see uh, now, yes, thanks. thanks. The yellow one. Also, uh, do you know where the other cylinder is? Oh, yeah, never mind. I found it. It's this yeah. one. Yeah. 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 Also, this would be part of the decking. You reckon? You reckon? It could be it after could be after either under, be the, under the what's it called? The aft tower. 
Oh yeah. Because yeah. Vamp is a very unknown. Like D deck, yeah. Yeah, because no one actually knows where that place is. I wonder what this piece is. It looks quite tall and solid. Quite tall and solid. Let's see if I can see it on. The train is Titanic. Documentary I've got an image of. The debris field when it did a scan. We need a better picture of this, this piece. Pretty tall. So, uh, the reason why the starboard section of the hull is like more peeled off is because I think it actually had a port list. Mm, I think it had a port list, and I think as it kind of failed to port in forward, it was just pushing out the um, starboard side plate. And most likely was the reason the rest of it peeled. Um, because as it went vertical and just went down, it would have continued yeah, to continue, continue peeling, peeling it back, back until it eventually, until they eventually um, broke at a well Look at a lot of pieces and you think, when did it come down, or when did it break off? Was it into the descent, or was it at the surface? Why is 4 in such an unusual shape compared to the rest of it? Like that whole side. Which piece, sorry? Uh, it's numbered 4 on the color picture there. It's a uh, bent in like an S. Uh. Well, it's actually for that, that um, Peter's yeah. above the aft, um, aft keel. Or the aft double the bottom. Aft double bottom. Which could actually help if it was, if it is bent in which it looks like it is, then it could explain um, bottom up, because if it compresses at the bottom, it's going to just bend it and steal where it likes. Yeah, but looking at this, it's it probably could have bent inwards, I think. I'm not sure. It's confu it's like confusing because it's like almost a Z. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Hmm. I think I I've seen that somewhere. Oh yeah, yeah. Found it. I think this piece 
this one right here this piece yes might yes. have might have been this one you reckon you reckon Oh, really? yeah. Probably. I did see what you mean. Yeah, I know that bit is very unknown. I'm assuming that's part of the decking. It looks like it has a different shade. Like different shade. Yeah. This that was more like a V and this is more like a Z. It does look like a big piece for you. And we know it's C deck under. Because it's got framework on it. I'll mark the ambiguous pieces just white. Later on, just color after I find what it is. So the second class smoking room would probably be probably be more south of this. I think. It is still in the stone. For collapse into the stone. Did you say second class? Second class. Yeah, the smoke, the fourth it's, bomb base. I just, just making it so I just make it. I know, looking at it, it looks like it's looking at the stone. It looks like it's still, still wet because there's still remnants of um, the fourth funnel on um, the stern, some piping, some um, and stuff. So I think the uptakes. Um, um, squished together, squished a, little together bit. a little bit. Go straight to the boat. Straight straight to the boat. boat. I found number five. And I think that'll be number eight. Let's just do something fun. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line that just connects all the pieces. Where's my? Yeah. So three, four, five. I'm not sure what happened there. <laughs> <laughs> Probably was expecting more of a spiral. Well, if you put the hybrid center around 
third 90 degree um, piece of shell plating, then it all really falls east um, or southeast. And then oh, so when, it would have failed first. Well, it seems like it's probably it was it was obviously spitting off um, shell plating, decking, um, interior cabin beds, um, or whatever. So it's probably spiraled its way southeast, um, spitting it spitting around. Let's see if I can get an image. And why some is just pretty. So it seems like the galley deck, uh, deck uh, detached, detached quite late, quite late right? I think I have been quite late. I think the aft tower and uh, galley deck came off relatively late in the descent. We think two and a half miles, the aft tower probably came off at 1.2 miles under. And the galley deck probably galley came, probably came two, miles. two miles. That would make a lot of sense. Because that's one thing I find the problem with Mingos theory is if they all just broke off um, at the surface, then they would most likely be a bit more scattered. I think they definitely would have been created at the surface, but they didn't separate fully. No, I, I I think the shell plating peeling back probably made the chunks. Do you think of the galley decks supported by, if you think this, well, the aft superstructure is probably supported by B deck, so when B deck fails, it's going to shoot off because it has no shell plating around it, or the superstructure is going to fail before the B deck does. Um, but with the galley section, it's probably going to hold on for a while until all the frames peel off from the shell plating and it will just eventually break off from there. So this will be, so in Megat's diagram, the Galilex are mangled, but it is intact in the rec, so I think, yeah, that would have been the neutral axis. Yeah, I think yeah, when so it eventually, it eventually broke, broke, the keel broke. broke. The keel can't, the keel can't bending, more bending more due to compression, due to compression and, and maybe the maybe engine to stop it and the coal, coal bunker. bunker. And, and as it as fails, fails to, to break, break up, up, break upwards, it will decide I'm just going to pull the superstructure apart and then when B deck fails, nothing else can hold it together and it probably. Um, um, held on to F deck a little bit, and then on the most likely thing, um, at the uptake, it broke, it broke forward of, or, or, or yeah, at the, yeah, the forward of the uptake, and um, that's where it broke, and the bow disconnected, so it's just the keel holding it together. Probably figure out the seam line of the break. Um, figure out the weakest point of the, st of the steel, which would be around the boreholes. So the green is the show plating, and the bright blue is the decking. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.
Yep. That's interesting. Me. It would be interesting to think um, if the chat thinks she broke top down or bottom up. Yes. This is a very series. Probably would have been uh, a mix of both top down and bottom up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like the split of the community, split. just thinking, oh no, it broke it top down. Like, oh no, it actually broke, broke, broke bottom up. up. And then, you, and then the and then ones who actually looked into the breakup, I think, why not both? Pretty much, the last bit to break would be between the bottom and the top. Mm -hmm. Do we think the key will hold on to the bow? No. No. I don't think either. Even though there's a lot of um, people who say that it probably could have. Um, yeah, because uh, one person just suggested uh, the Olympic, when they were scrapping Olympic, even though it has been like going through waves for like a lot of years, a lot of decades, the keel was still like pretty in good condition. Hmm. No, I think the uh, keel, hold on. Hold on. Um, um, actually, there's, actually, there's a lot of, of um, four or five had recently saying, saying, saying the double bottom broke, broke, and it held on it held the keel, on, held on to the bow and stern a little bit, and the bow pulled bow down, down um, um, the stern until. The stern until the bow just, the bow just wants to disconnect. to disconnect. I don't think it would be such a relatively, a relatively clean, clean break. break. No, I mean, if you look at the, at the um, double bomb double pieces, pieces, it's, pieces, it's, um, um, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not, it's not a nice thing. <laughs> they can even look at the aft section, aft section. Um, um, on the keel, which is on the colored image, the left one. If you look on the starboard side, which is the bottom of it, um, it's completely broken a different area than the porter side. Which makes sense. And also, Mark Draker also mentioned there is like the horizontal break was happening in the shell plating around E and F decks. So, probably on the galley, galley decks caused it, I think. Potentially. Potentially.
Yeah, I think the the debris field is like a lot uh Yeah. So mark that one piece. Um, that piece you just highlighted, just highlighted it looks, it looks like, like a lot of, a lot of deck, deck. Uh, to, uh, me. to me. Yeah, yeah, it does. It does. Look like. It is half the length of the galley. I'll put it in the um, Discord. I'll post this on Discord later on. Yeah. So, anything else that uh, you all want to share? The brief field, not so much. The brief field, not so much. No. No. That is interesting seeing the pattern. That is interesting seeing the pattern. Mm. Mm. Looking at the brief field, you just. You just have that big sense for it. Um, a lot actually held on at the surface. The only thing that probably broke off, uh, obviously. Um, some of the boilers, probably the cold bunk as well, uh, and the forward tower. Because even though it may survive it, such a broken tree. I see something. You can probably see the order which they break off. Because they seem to be in a broad circle. Yeah, you can probably go for If you look at like all the pieces, you can probably think of how heavy they are, or how heavy they are. Um, and when they break off, they're just going to either drop or have very little effect on movement, unless they had momentum. So you think the galley deck's very close to the stern, it's in line of where the hypersensor was. I remember the stern is now, so it probably broke off extremely late. Seven is something which um, went straight down, because it's set up right. Seven is, I think I assume that it's the ballad piece. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably is a. One thing that actually always interests me is that the engine cylinders are very close to the. It's the blue bit by the aft tower. Yeah, and, and the, yeah, and it makes you think because the, um, the keel broke under the engine, so when the keel flops down, the end it's going to pull the engine a bit. So it must have come off when. Um, the keel weaver disconnected, or um, well, at the surface. Even though there were some two passengers, um, some like we are finding now, um, who said um, they believe they saw something low in the deck, looking engine-like, um, fall forward. I think they said like it was like they were both in boat nine, which is. Um, Starboard of this um, of the ship, like in line with the second funnel. 
Is that the second cylinder um, outlined under the white part there uh, by the boilers? This one. This one? No. Um, um, yeah, yeah, that one there. Is that a cylinder? I've got an image of the cylinder. No, uh, cylinder is, the cylinder is here. This okay. is cylinder, and I'm not, I, I have no idea what this is. It's this one. That's big. That's big. <laughs> if I had to hazard a guess, it'd be all the missing, be all the missing, um, Stack of decks stack from of decks the from starboard side, the I think. Starboard side, I think. If I had to guess. If I had to guess. I think most of them have been scattered, the is, um, scattered is, uh, above the engines. Above the engines. If you look at the stern, it's it's, it's, it's or especially in when, um, um, nineteen eighty um, six. Um, um, practically everything from. from where the back of the engine would be, or bulkhead L is, um, and forward above the engines is gone. Yes, the main piece there is the um, aft tower, but the aft tower only really goes down to beat it. That mystery pile could be its own tower of its own, looking at the um, shadow, the sonar shadow. Of uh, white, white one being yeah. yeah, it could continue. Yeah, considering the shadow, it's probably, quite, yeah, tall. The shadow is probably quite tall. It's a weird shadow. <laughs> it's a weird shadow. <laughs> could be um, could be one, a, one of the one sides, of the sides of the, of the sides tower, of the tower, the aft tower, the aft tower. Which would be interesting. Would be interesting. Oh, would you mean the starboard side of it? Yeah. 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 I wonder. I think. I wonder if these all match together somehow. By looking at the pieces, pieces, you can probably figure out, probably figure out um, um, when they came off they came by, off estimating, by the, estimating how fast it turned spiraling. Because we know she oh, fell at about. Wait, wait, I think I found a pattern. If you look at the, look at the um, stern, we know she stern, fell at about fell 40 about miles per hour. Miles per hour. Um, It's making something. It's going in this general direction. But do we think she was think spiraling she was instead spiraling of revolving, instead of revolving, revolving on, on like, like a neutral axis, neutral axis in the center of it, or do we, think, do we think she was basically she was following, following the stern down, down and down falling, falling in the in a very strange in a spiral? spiral. Probably is going in a spiral because. We know there's uh stuff stuff like a trail of debris. Yeah, yeah but I've always been confused by that piece. Yeah, it doesn't have any debris on it. And major debris. No, I think they found some coal there. And very little pieces of shell plating. The galley piece location is now confusing for me. Okay. Um, let me explain. I mean, I mean, wait a second. Wait a second. It gives a feeling like if you uh, detached quite lately from the stern. How did that happen like this? Uh, I mean, how did uh, the galley piece? How it How didn't it detach Helia. Because the galley is in between two uptakes. Or 
top of two upticks. So it would have been fairly weak. Seafields held on by Bulkhead K. So looking at all these, I think, so, so like, it went in like this general direction when it descended. It makes it sense makes that sense it sense um, sheds the, the most wreckage at the start. the start. Yeah, I think yeah, as... as Probably the strange weird water explosion happens in the stern. It probably just blew a lot of the shell pigeon out. But you got the beginning of the shell pigeon. Do you want to uh, end the stream right now and like continue later later on? We can. Yeah, we can probably figure out all the pieces and then discuss the pieces. Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yep. So let's end the stream right now. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. All right. All right.